throw my brush on the floor, take a bit of glue, I'm just going to go on the inside of the wound, really quickly around the inside, and I'm going to take this wound, and I'm just going to stick this on here. I quite, sometimes I like to do this, because it gives us the option to be a bit more, um, what's the word, you can kind of make it up as you go along if that makes sense. You can do your character and then you can start to augment it and make it look maybe a little bit more slimy, a little bit more gory. So, um, so these guys go on quite quickly. Say again? No. Say again, sorry? Yeah, I mean, usually I don't use makeup brushes for this type of stuff. I know it sounds weird, but I'll buy the cheaper um, artist brushes because it does ruin your brushes after a while, always gluing and whatnot, especially if somebody decides to put skull gel on it. Um, yeah, I would, I would just buy the cheaper, cheaper brushes. Um, thankfully, I, I get brushes from work anyway, so it's not such a massive deal for me, but those of you who don't, then it can prove to be a bit expensive. So this piece... It's going on kind of nicely. All looks a bit weird at the moment and a bit flappy, but we'll get rid of that. Right then. If, if people wanted to experiment at home, but they didn't want to go to the cost of latex, yeah. but they didn't want to use copy decks, yeah. what, can you recommend any cheaper options? Um, I think you'd be looking at, think, I think, sculpt gel. You know, this, this that we have in the pots is a really good option. Yeah. Um, it's quite, it is quite, it's like £30 for a kit, yeah. but it goes a long way. Um, and you can, there's some great DVDs. There's a, a DVD by a guy called Stuart Bray. Bray? Stuart Bray, B-R-A-Y. Just specifically about creating sculpt gel wounds and that kind of stuff. Uh, Stuart's become a bit of a, 